best known for skiing and jet boating, is now home to the Queenstown Gold Rush, a daunting hill climb featuring some of the fastest cars and drivers on one of the most challenging roads in the world, often used as a proving ground by car and tyre manufacturers. Something totally different. You're allowed much more freedom and uh, guys can express, express themselves with their cars of what they really want to do to the car because no one's standing there saying this is what the rules say, you're not allowed to do that. You can do it. Australian rally champion Possum Bourne brought his Group A Subaru Impreza to Cardona. He wasn't there to take on the other Group A machines though. His target was the purpose-built 1,000 horsepower cars of Japanese star Monster Tajima in a Suzuki Vitara and the Toyota Celica of Rod Millen. These cars are built for the famous Pikes Peak Race to the Clouds in Colorado. And Kiwi Rod Millen is the king of Pikes Peak. Three times a winner and now back home in New Zealand to take on the Gold Rush. Power to weight ratio is maybe three times more than, than your average rally car. Um, so the car is much lighter and of course it's much more powerful. But then again, it's been designed and built for, for the, the race in Colorado every year. If you think Mellon and Tajima have outrageous vehicles, how about the open wheeler of David Donner? Or the Freightliner of Hollywood stuntman Mike Ryan? As long as you mind your manners, it's, uh, it's good fun. If you uh, get a little carried away, then it gets to be a handful. Add to this motorbikes and quads, and you're encompassing nearly all forms of motorsport. After practice sessions on Friday and Saturday, the Queenstown Gold Rush itself was run on Monday. All eyes were on the big three, and Possum Bourne was the first of them to tackle the 15-kilometre climb in his Subaru Impreza and set what would be the bogey time. minutes and 33 seconds was his fastest run of the weekend. The conditions are a little bit tougher than yesterday from the wind and, and the cold and a few other things so you just you, I did the best I could put down a time on the day we'll see what happens. Next on the gold rush course was Monster his aggressive driving nearly bringing him unstuck. It didn't phase him as he stretched every bit of power from his awesome Suzuki. Monster's time was an amazing 20 seconds faster than Possum Bourne. The clock stopped at 8 minutes 13 seconds. Now the question was, could Pike's Peak champion Millen beat the time in his Toyota Celica? At the top, Tajima and Bourne awaited his arrival. It was close, but Monster came out the winner by a margin of only three seconds. Hey, you know, I had a good run. You know, I, I can't complain. Um, you know, the Salica ran great. Uh, you know, that's racing. You know, we've, we've, we've had plenty of successes over the year. The competition's what it's all about. With top drivers already committing to next year, the chase for gold in the Queenstown Hills will be on in earnest once again in 1999. So looking